Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today um, I'd like to talk a little bit about not shrinking back, but pushing forwards um, and engaging fully um, with and through discipling. Um, I have been reading the One Year Bible again um, from the New Living Translation, and I read a passage uh, about uh, Paul um, visiting the Ephesian church that he planted on his way back. Um, uh, towards Jerusalem and um, and he calls the Ephesians da elders down to the coast and have a little meeting where they they say goodbye basically because Paul says I'm not coming this way again um, I don't know what I'm going to exactly but it's it's not going to be pretty in Jerusalem and uh, he, he gives them some last bits of advice and so on but the, the verse that stood out for me were, were these so this is Ephesians this is Acts chapter uh, 20 verses 20 he says this I never shrank back from telling you what you needed to hear either publicly or in your homes. And again, he says um, a little bit later in verse 26 and 27, if anyone suffers eternal death, it's not my fault, for I didn't shrink from declaring all that God wants you to know. And so twice there, Paul used that language of, I didn't shrink back, uh, I didn't hesitate, I didn't withdraw and not give you the full 100% of what God wants you to know and what you needed to hear. In, in other translations, this says something like, um, I didn't shrink back from declaring to you the, f the, the full purposes of God. And we need to cultivate that kind of boldness, that kind of engagement, that kind of 100%ness in our communication as we seek to disciple the people around us, whether they're new believers or, or very experienced believers. And these were elders of the church. And Paul was saying, uh, whilst I was amongst you, I made it um, kind of part of my goal to not shrink back, to not uh, kind of you know kind of default on that last 15 percent the difficult to hear stuff and it seems to me that as disciples and as disciplers we need to be those who are willing to have courageous and, and crucial conversations with the people around us and to, to speak the truth in love into the lives of those around us and that's really hard for us to do because we fear rejection and we fear that people won't like us anymore uh, and there are wise ways of doing that but we need to practice doing that because that's where true growth um, starts to happen. That's where people are unable to uh, encounter reality, the reality of God's word and, uh, and their lives and the discrepancy between the two. And so to recalibrate their lives around that and to, to repent and, to, and to, to move into the fullness of what God has for them. And we need to take that responsibility seriously. We don't want blood on our hands because we, we didn't go the whole hog. And that's really challenging. It's challenging for me. I'm a bit of a people pleaser. I want people to like me, but I need to make sure I don't shrink back from declaring the whole purposes of God to the people around me. I need to let them know, hear what they need to hear. And I need to see it as a privilege that God has entrusted that communication to me. Um, if it's not me, who is going to do it? Uh, that's the mentality we need to have. Uh, and for Paul, this is a key was a key feature of his ministry. And we know that's true of Jesus as well and others in the New Testament who sought to speak the word of God in its entirety to those um, that they were ministering to. So let's do that this week. Let's seek to have 100% truth in love conversations and not shrink back from what we need to say.